All right, this is a walk around video for the 1933 Chevy Rat Rod with a 383 motor, a little Wee End street blower. We got the Demon carburetor, um, MSD ignition, all new fuel pump, fuel filter, regulator, fuel lines, braided, um, new shocks front and back. We have some really neat features to this thing. I mean, it already looks sharp as hell. Rides mint. I mean, you can drive one hand down the road no sketchiness, track straight, um, but tons of cool features, lots of sharp little mods to it. Um, we have updated IMCA mod brake kits, huge piston mod brakes. We have these 11 inch Packard headlights with original finish, which is like this like bronze finish with a little pinstriping. Um, we have a nice custom aluminum radiator, super thick, um silly little maker's mark overflow tank um and this radiator does have a hidden electric fan in here very very hard to see at all on any angle but it's there uh it doesn't take away from the old old vibe um the metal on this thing there's no patchwork there's no huge missing sections the channel work is meant there's probably six cuts on the roof channeling um, chopping it's so clean body lines are really tight uh, we got new wheels and tires up front we have this really cool static adjustability to the front leafs you can see that's like a, a bolt more or less that can drop up and down go up and down it's currently at its max height raise for trailering purposes um, but again we can drop this thing on its frame as is and it sits level we'll show that with the airbags uh, the patina finish is very, very clean. There's no rot. It's not a uh, fake patina. There's some areas, you know, where some grind work has been done. It doesn't stand out. It blends in. But most of the patina works original. It's not flaking. It has had a clear satin coat put on it years ago to preserve it. We have these huge 18-inch Hoosier Pro Streets on new rims. Um, really, really wild stance for this thing. I mean, it is wide as hell, but it sits nice and low. And we got it at its max height right now. I'm gonna drop it down and show you the difference um, real quick. Let's do that now. So it's got a long remote airbag controller. You got both sides you can do or middle for both at once. Um, that's just one side, that's the other side. And that thing is sitting nice and low now. I mean, pretty much to the bottom. Doesn't actually touch bottom, but it's sitting at the bottom. There's, I mean, a few blades of grass that can fit through there. And when we raise it all the way up, we have a six inch clearance on the frame. Very reasonable for street driving, trailering, whatever situations you get in to go to the car show or cruise the little streets. Um, underneath the back here, we have all the components for air suspension we have the fuel cell it's about 15 gallon fuel cell custom built for this vehicle uh marine battery real good shape custom little box these are huge airbags with about seven inches of height increase over where they are now uh, the solenoids we have a new fuel pump fuel filter fuel lines all an fittings multiple locations for your shocks those are brand new uh real tricky back there uh, we probably aren't going to be able to see much of the rear geometry but uh we do have new shocks adjustable height shocks maybe we can get a little glimpse out the four link geometry it's a 10 bolt chevy rear end eight and a half differential um all the hardware on the four link is heavy duty heim joints and quarter inch bracketry very thick Lots of reinforcing. We have rear br drum brakes. <clears throat> we have an authentic old bullet hole in the door. We have authentic wood in the doors, pretty nifty. That's a, not something you're gonna see normally on these things, they're just totally rotted away, but lots of old original wood work. Door bracing, not terrible shape. We have uh, an original e-brake, really cool. Actually works. We have the dash, the original dash polished out. I would assume you could get these gauges working if you were 
pretty good with some wiring. All the wiring is back there behind the dash. We do have a functioning tack boost gauge and water temperature gauge. We have a brake proportioning valve down there in purple. And then we also have the foot controlled high and low beams for the headlights. We have a removable steering wheel. Um, we, let's see up here, we've got the push start and the fuel pump switch, low car shifter, sitting pretty tall. We got these super stout aluminum seats sitting real low profile. Um, they really stand out nice. A little cup holder. This is something I found at the flea market the other day. It's a Eagle brand oiler, like a Chevy Eagle. And then you can see right here, the transmission oil dipstick. All the sheet metal work on the inside is very thick. Uh, you know, it's all retrofitted exactly for this body shape. It really ties the body together tightly. Um, all the glass is safety glass tinted. We have a little makeshift small back seat here. Stuff the kids back there, lawn chairs, cooler, whatever for the car show. Um, it is a really sweet stance vehicle. And it again, drives dead straight. Very predictable. Really cool old Packard headlights. I'm sure I'm forgetting a couple neat features here. Um, and it's put together just so nicely, but we'll get in it, crank it up, hear it. It is extremely reliable as far as cranking up, driving, not hiccuping. I'm 6'2", I got decent leg room. The steering wheel sits a little low, like you're in a go-kart. My head, this is my eye, eye height here where I would look at 6'2". It's not bad. I'm not sl slunched over, slouched over, whatever. Um, you can kind of see my head, my head height. I've probably got two to three inches from the soft top. Um, more than enough room to feel comfortable. And then we've got the shifter here sitting high. We've got the e-brake that actually works. And um, push button start, turn the fuel pump on. Again, to turn it off, you just have a fuel switch, fuel pump here. Turn it on, crank it, fires right up every time. It's a turbo 400. All the gears work fine, reverse, neutral. Park, everything holds. And we have a uh, push button release, quick release steering wheel. Give you a little bit of extra precaution for peace of mind, you know, a little bit of safety. There is a hidden kill switch under the back as well. Ties in all the electronics and batteries to this switch. So a couple small features to discourage any theft. And again, the metal and body is Really nice quality. Um, no real, I don't see any real scab work, patchwork. And again, this thing can sit on the ground and then go right back up six inches to a good, nice street drivability height. And if you look at my hand as a comparison, I mean, that's probably about six inches clearance it even has a little bit more as that pump was about flat 